what we're seeing right now is a lot of saturation, you know, whether it's like the, what it was like 80,000 songs a day are uploaded to, to Spotify. Um, I'm sure you found it, Sean, like the amount of people obviously wanting to run a TikTok campaign, but just wanting to put TikToks out there or not really understanding the process like 100% and yeah. finding the quality over the quantity and finding what's really going to cut through the clutter um, is where I think the industry is going to head. And to contextualize that a little bit more, I really believe it's going to be around sort of the like direct to fan like aspects, you know, um, really having these community building tools. Um, there's some amazing ones out there like Mandolin, Crowdmouth, Fangage, Lalo, Faith for Fans, Planet Fans. They're, they're really amazing like tools that, that can really help develop artists' connections with their fans, but also build upon that, give the fans something more to than just sort of being a fan of the music, being a fan of the brand, of the people, what they stand for and how they treat their audiences. Because with, where the saturation comes um, into play is obviously harder to make a living then, like, especially when you're looking at the likes of like the Spotify, um, just in terms of royalty payments, you know, like everyone, and also with like, I think again, like please correct me if I'm wrong, but with like TikTok, it's not like, you're not gonna get paid and like directly that much from TikTok that you're going to make a living if you're an artist running a campaign to write the song it's about what you can do with that audience yeah. and how you can monetize that audience right. um and I mean monetize in the nicest way possible you know how you can bring benefits to the audience but also making a career that's sustainable for yourself and I think also with the likes of the blockchain world whether you love it or you hate it I think there's a lot of platforms out there that can also uh bring a lot of benefits and keeping the power in the artist's hands you know they were, they've been saying for years i feel like it's the golden age for independent artists um which is, is still very true but i feel like it's only gonna with the new technologies that are on the horizon i feel like it's gonna be still even more um in the hands of the artists less responsibility on labels and more responsibility on communities whether they're DAOs, for example um in the world of blockchain or whether they are just more rewarding your fan base through, you know, engaging on your releases, like sharing the songs, that they can get rewarded for that, for example, on some of these platforms that I name. Um, so yeah, I think I think community building and engagement is where the industry will be heading and and really trying to turn those like the fandom approach and turning like getting your first 10 paying fans to your 100 paying fans to your thousand paying fans. Um yeah, I think I think that's where it's going to be heading mainly. Got you, got you. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. I agree with so much of what you said, and I, I think a good way for artists to think about the investment, right? Because you mentioned TikTok building out your content and figuring out how to monetize it later. Well, that same thing applies. I don't think we. I think people have started to understand that for content marketing, right? You you. You work your content, you work your content, you build an audience, and the ask comes later. Music, I guess people forget that music is content, right? Mm -hmm. So you might be putting money behind it to try to build awareness for that content faster. Sometimes you're just doing it organically, algorithmically, however you want to say it, but it's still the exact same. Music is just content marketing. marketing. So the, the cleaner people understand that, then you'll realize, <laughs> the monetization point comes later, but it's building mm -hmm. real community and engagement, um, which is what makes it happen in a real way. And what you guys are doing, um, you know, that I love is also that artists forget that there's a community aspect on the consumer side, but there's a community building aspect on the business side, whether it's playlisters, whether it's labels, whether it's marketers, whoever, right? Those are the people that continue to give you pay back in dividends as you build those relationships in one way or another but i think it's hard for people who haven't gotten to that point mm -hmm. where that guy that you knew is now doing something else and it's in a position that can help you because you're somewhere else and you've all might moved along i think it's hard for people to uh, see that and, and quantify it but um you guys sound to be to be really playing an integral part in that game and, that, and that's dope it's really mm -hmm. dope 